Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you seven no resume work from home jobs paying as much as $43 an hour. The first type of job is transcription, which is basically you're going to take a audio file like a video or a podcast or an interview and you are going to type out what's being spoken into text form. So you're going to need good grammar, usually a decent word per minute typing speed, which you can test for free at typingtest.com. But if you go to become a freelancer at a website called transcribeme.com, you can actually get paid to do this and you can earn 15 to 22 dollars per audio hour in the beginning and you can earn up to 60 to 70 dollars per audio hour or more once you work your way up a little bit so you have a lot of freedom and flexibility with transcribe me they're one of the major players in the industry as far as getting transcription work and being able to work kind of on your own time you get paid via paypal usually on a weekly basis and you also don't have to have long time commitments to any of these. So for instance, most of these clips are two to four minutes. They're not long interviews. You're usually just doing clips at a time. So if you want to do something like after your day job, or if you want to do something on the weekend and you don't have a lot of free time, but you want to make some extra money, this is a great place to check out and it doesn't require much to apply. And the only thing they'll really have you do is maybe take like a typing test or like a like a little bit of a trial transcription file so that you know what you're doing. Um, that's how most of these companies are. They will have you take some sort of skills test instead of having you submit a resume or take an interview or any of that kind of stuff. So that's kind of how transcription works. And uh, Transcribe Me is also worldwide if you wanna apply from all over the world. As far as reviews, 3.6 out of five stars, 65% recommend working here to a friend. So they have pretty good ratings as far as that goes. Another thing you can do is called microtasking. This can involve a lot of different things. Microtasking is usually something you can do without experience, without any kind of interview, without a resume. You kind of just sign up um, and build a profile and then that's about all you have to do. So once you do that, you will end up on a page that looks like this and then you can usually do this within like the United States, Germany or France and then you can also do the work on an app. So if you click on the app, you can see that they have an app you can do work on as well. If you want to do just some extra work, they have a 4.1 out of five star rating on their app as well, both on Apple and Google Play. And usually you have just kind of a list of a lot of odd jobs that you do. And you have text creation, categorizing, copy editing, proofreading, research, surveys, mystery visit, app testing, photo capturing, audio recordings, and video recordings just to name a few of the things you do. Um, and all you have to do is sign up, fill out a user profile, complete a short assessment. Again, most of these sites will have you, you take some sort of test or something usually if they don't require a resume. Good results ensure many jobs, process your jobs online, get paid on a weekly or monthly basis. It's kind of up to you. And then you can also get paid via PayPal here as well. As far as what it's like to work at ClickWorker, people who work here rate them 3.6 out of five stars overall, and 75% of workers recommend working here to a friend. You also have freelance writing, and one place that specializes in freelance writing and doesn't really require you to have a resume is textbroker.com. So textbroker, you kind of just have to prove yourself with uh, kind of a test that you take, and you don't require experience, you just have to do well on a skills test. You also get paid by the word to write articles for clients. You also get paid via PayPal. And there's not really a resume required here because it's kind of a freelance independent contractor position, but they do have you take a skills test, in other words, instead of the typical application process. So here you have 5.5 cents per word, um, and they are, process twice per week as far as how often you can get paid it can be up to about twice per week and as far as how you get paid the maximum which would be 5.5 cents a word all you have to do is make sure you have good quality you get that at five stars and you're starting to make some decent extra money on the side you can do say a thousand words for an article and get paid 55 dollars you can kind of drag the word counter and see how much you could make. You can make as much as say $660 per article if you got somewhere closer to 12,000, which would be like an ultimate guide or a long list post or something like that. So it's a very simple uh, place where you can 
do this whether you are a beginner or or a professional they tell you that right there i'm not making that up so you can kind of work whenever you want as well and then as far as their reviews 3.3 out of 5 stars 56 percent recommend working here to a friend another type of job you can do without a resume is tutoring this is something where again there are certain sites where you can become a tutor and some of them will require things like um, an interview some of them might require like some sort of degree or some sort of higher education or certification maybe but they don't require any of that stuff at study pool yet they still seem to have more earning potential as well if you go to become a tutor at the top you'll see that they say you can earn up to 7500 a month obviously not everyone makes that but some people earn you know as much as 90,000 or more in a year now accepting tutors from all over the world so they are available worldwide and they've been recognized by many major companies and new uh, media outlets as well as you can see you see like Inc entrepreneur HuffPost etc lowest service fees in the industry or at least some of them 20% um, is all they take from your earnings while some companies take like 50% you have reliable income full freedom and flexibility work when you want no quotas uh, students ask specific questions. Tutors answer via text, providing full explanations and answers. Students and tutors communicate over chat messenger, and tutoring sessions are one time per question based. So some of the recent questions here are, you know, you'll see all sorts of different payments depending on the subject. Like some might be, say, like let's say you did like computer science, you might get paid more for engineering or computer science questions than you might get for math questions. But you know, some of these will be maybe like different areas, like you might help a high schooler with homework or you might help a college student. You know, it'll definitely depend on um, the subject area. It'll depend on the country, a lots of different factors, you know, and how in depth of an answer they want. But literally all you're doing is sending text message answers to homework questions and the top earners earn, you know, $90,000 in a year which again is around $7,500 a month. 355 reviews here, and they have a 4.1 out of five star rating. 86% of their workers recommend working here to a friend. And again, they have a knowledge quiz that you take instead of requiring you to uh, submit a resume. Now you have customer support. Customer support is obviously an easy work from home job you can do. It's one of the core work from home jobs that almost anyone can get if you know where to look. Um, if you go to jobs.workingsolutions.com, you can find lots of independent contractor customer support jobs listed usually all the time. They usually have at least like five or six of these available. Right now they have a, a few here. They have these in the United States and Canada. So you're looking at customer support, sometimes even sales related. So you have these bilingual ones, you have educational sales rep, for instance, and you have different pay amounts. These are usually going to be anywhere from $15 to $25 an hour. Like this one pays you up to $18 per hour. Usually they don't require anything as far as experience, but sometimes they do. It just kind of depends on which one you apply for. And the listings are kind of uh, going to change depending on what time of the year you check. These are not one of those uh, companies that, oh, it's just hiring all the time or, oh, you just build a profile and take a test. This is more of like, okay, these are what we need right now. They actually have more like traditional job listings, but they don't require you to take an interview or any of that kind of stuff really. So it's a much easier application process. Um, $18.60 per hour for this one is the uh, higher end of earnings. You have the GDS travel agent as well. This one, I believe, earns a little bit more, up to 2160 per productive hour worked for this one. And then you have, you know, the healthcare technical support rep hiring in the US, which pays um, up to $16.80 per hour looks like. So most of these are very easy to get and don't require much. They're just customer support jobs. They pay you by the minute of productive work time. And as far as what it's like to work here, 3.9 out of five stars, 75% recommend working here to a friend. Another place that, or another type of job that you can get that's kind of out of the box is basically doing people's laundry for them, which sounds weird, but it's kind of that gig economy type of gig where, you know, you think of like gig economy jobs like DoorDash or Uber or, 
you know, things like that, where you, you get groceries for people, you deliver food, you, you basically uh, drive people from place A to B. And this is another gig economy type of job where you can do laundry for people and earn up to $20 per hour. They also have instant payouts. Um, at the latest, you should get paid within two days. You can sign up, accept jobs, wash, dry, and fold, return it the next day, instant payout, instant payout for diamond sudsters especially. So I believe you like if you have a good reputation, you get paid instantly. Otherwise, you know, it's two days instead of one. It's not that big of a difference. But um, you can make whatever hours you want, make whatever schedule you want. All you really need is a social security number for a background check, a washer, dryer, something to dry clothes with, laundry detergent. You may have to drive a little bit, but that's it. Most of the time you're not having to drive. The only time you do is, is in some cases you may have to pick up and deliver. But other than that, that's literally all you have to do. Some people say... Um, you can. They say on the official website actually that you can earn up to five thousand dollars a month or more, which is obviously on the high end of things. Um, top one hundred Sudsters earn twenty five hundred a month, so it really just depends. But it's something you can literally do on the side. Would I actually depend on this as a primary source of income? Probably not, unless you're like a stay at home uh, mom or dad or something like that. But and you don't really have to be the primary. Uh, breadwinner in your house, then that might be, make sense. Um, or you're in between applying for jobs or something. But otherwise, it's something you can do without any kind of application like resume or interview. 4.6 out of 5 stars, 95% recommend working here too, friend. They're very highly rated by their workers. Last but not least, we have video game coaching, which can be done at a company called Gamersensei.com. If you are a very good video game coach, you can get paid hassle-free with easy scheduling payments and a dedicated team. You also get Corsair family gear and services discounts, which is, if you know about gaming, that's a major gaming uh, gear brand. So you'll see them all over Amazon, Best Buy, etc. You can become a sensei. You can do this from all over the world. You'll notice that they have lots of different countries you can apply from. And then you have of course, um, the type of game that you specialize in. These are all the games you can do. So if you feel like you're good enough to where, you know, you could win a tournament or you're, you're good enough to be ranked really highly on leaderboards in certain games or maybe you play competitively, uh, maybe you're a streamer. There's a lot of different ways you can make money from video games these days. Maybe you're a, you're a YouTuber and play video games for a living or something. You can get paid to coach people um, to play these games. You can also get paid to coach teams as well, which could even drive up, you know, the amount of money you make even more for competitive teams. So if you're good at any of these jobs that you see here, then you can get paid to do this. You also get to uh, set your own rates of how much you get paid. So if you feel like you can earn $30 an hour, you can charge that. Now, as far as uh, actual application, you do need to describe your prior coaching experience linked to a VOD review or coaching session. A VOD review or coaching session, you could probably do like, you know, a YouTube video or something recorded where you are basically coaching people and you show your style of coaching and you break down each part of somebody's game and how they can improve it um, and describe your coaching experience. Maybe you, you know, like I said, you can say, you can uh, describe whether you're a Twitch streamer, a YouTuber, a competitive player do you are are you a professional gamer on a team whatever it is um do you win tournaments you know you don't really have to have a resume you don't really have to have a typical interview type of thing it's more just like you you submit like a pre-recorded video is one major thing that you do and then you just kind of describe your profile from there but a lot of times when companies let you set your own prices you're not going to have to do a lot to apply it's more like you're in charge of your own independent contractor business. You don't necessarily. Now, when you have a company that sets your rates for you, a lot of times, you know, in some cases, they will still have you um, interview. But review wise, they do have 13 reviews, 4.5 out of 5 stars. 87% of workers recommend working here to a friend. And if you want to see an average for like somebody who does this, obviously you can set your own rates. But if you want to see an average, they don't really tell you that on the page, but a game coach on here 
one person who did this actually said they made around fifty nine or or sixty thousand a year, um, or at least the equivalent of that per hour. In other words, they might have put in how much they made per hour, and then Glassdoor turned that into a yearly estimate. That's what they do a lot of times. So what you want to do is divide that by two thousand eighty to figure out closer to what you would make, which would probably be around twenty between twenty five and thirty an hour or something along those lines. But Hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell and like the video if you want more content like this so you can, that's your way of telling me that you like this kind of stuff and you want more of it. And then I'll see you in the next video.